Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Hi, this is Mel. I hope all of you are doing awesome. Today I'm going to do a story. And this story is a self-written story written by me. And the title of the story is The Power of Gratitude. So here it goes. Long, long time ago, there lived a wealthy, a very proud, very arrogant businessman. He was extremely proud and arrogant and uh, he used to speak ill um, about everyone. He actually spoke very badly with all of his workers including his wife and he criticized almost everyone and everything nothing was enough for him no money no work everything that people did he criticized and no amount of money or work anything was nothing was good for him it does not matter how much people did how many hours they worked or, or what they have accomplished he always said that's not enough you need to do more even though sometimes his wife will serve him very good breakfast dinner or lunch he would always say why do you do all this you didn't have to do all this I don't like this I don't like that he never said anything good about anybody or any work or anything that people did for him so the bottom line was he was extremely ungrateful even his wife was very nice and many times he felt very sad about his behavior towards herself and everybody else but there was no way to change him that was his behavior now they had a big factory and they were very rich so they were well respected in the community but people knew that he was like very bad mouth man so sometimes people respect some people due to their wealth or success or money because they expect that they will get a job but they really don't like them so this person's um, uh, his behavior was kind of like that and that's how people saw it so uh, this person's name was Mr. Sarma and obviously his wife was Mrs. Sarma and they had a gardener who came from a nearby village his name was Ramo and he came early in the morning even though he came like sometimes six o'clock sometimes seven o'clock but that wasn't enough with his master and then he went home and that that before dark like by six seven i mean there was nothing much to do in the dark oh, he could not garden in the dark and he preferred to go home walking to his village and it was quite a long distance walk so he used to leave before dark anyway so once there was a huge fire in the factory where um, uh, this rich man mr sarma owned the factory and in the fire he lost everything all the factory products and everything and all the workers uh, many of them were severely injured, but Mr. Sarma was also extremely injured in that fire. So fire actually destroyed their business and he was severely broken mentally and physically unable to walk, stand or do anything. So to this entire family was very sad and then the their 
uh, gardener Ram was extremely sad too to see the master also other servants and maids they were also sad that the fact that the master is so injured and he may not be able to go to work anymore but they had other managers or somebody who will take over but they have to rebuild the business so the ram saw this master was every day was suffering so this was like six months gone by and his condition did not improve uh, he was getting deteriorated and he was not able to do anything so his wife was very uh, much sad and disappointed now in ramu's village uh, at the end of the village on the mountain there used to live a yogi and this yogi lived in a cottage and he had quite a fame in the village um, the villagers believed that he was extremely spiritual and powerful and he was able to connect with God and get answers. So one day Mr. Sarma asked Raju to get some answers from him, from the yogi. And so he asked um, Ramu to ask the yogi, just go to him and ask him. He did not, he said, don't ever ask the yogi, when am I going to die? Ask the yogi when I'm going to get fully better and be able to walk and work again, go to the factory again and just be like the way I was before. So Ramu took a day off and he walked whole day the, and went at the end of the mountain and of the hill and saw the yogi's cottage. And then the rich man gives a lot of fruits, vegetables, milk and honey for the yogi. Actually, it was rich man's wife who gave those as a gift to the yogi for the answer. So Ramu gave all this to the yogi and then asked about his master's request. And then... Um, Jijogi said that since it was night time by the time Ramu reached there, so Ramu should spend the night, have some fruits and some milk and some honey and sleep for the night and next morning he will answer all his questions. So Ramu ate the fruits, milk and honey and then he went to sleep in Jogi's cottage and next morning when he woke up, he asked the yogi the question that when is his masters going to get completely well and be able to work again and be like the way he was and then um so and um, but the master does not want to know when he is going to die because he refuses to die and he said he will not die because he loves his life and he has so much to live for so Jogi said that your master is not going to die so easily. Your master has a lot of bad karma and this suffering is due to his bad karma, due to his ill behavior towards everyone and due to his this proudness, this ego, this arrogancy and also these were present in his previous life so he's going to suffer for next 20 years he's going to be like this and then he will die alone so Ramu knew that he couldn't say this to his master so he said that oh great priest yogi could you please tell me something nice about my master? Because if I say these things to my master, he will take my job away. Definitely then what will I feed to my family? I'm a gardener and this is my job. So the yogi felt bad for Ramu. So he said, 
Yes, I know you're a good person. Okay, so go tell your master that every single day of his life he needs to be grateful and he needs to appreciate everyone and every single thing in this world even he needs to appreciate his disability and the loss of the factory loss of the money loss of the products and the injury and loss of his hands legs every single thing he needs to appreciate and he needs to thank the god for everything that god has done for him so just go tell him that so ramu thought this is much better than the other version he couldn't tell so he went back as soon as he reached the master was so angry he said why did you take one day why the yogi didn't give you the answer the day before so he explained to the madam the master's wife because master was so furious who oh, he wasn't going to listen so he explained that it was night and yogi said i it was not safe for me to go through the forest again home at night time so he said to take some fruits and honey and milk which you offered to the yogi and just go to sleep i'll give the answer so he explained everything to the master's wife to mrs sharma and then he said the master needs to totally change himself and he needs to be grateful for everything that is in his life to every person and if he continues that for a long time then everything will be back the way it was and if he doesn't then it's going to get worse so she conveyed the message to her husband and ramu told also to mrs sharma all the things that yogi said previously because he was unable to tell this thing to his master because he was always angry so he told it to his wife she was very nice and calm and quiet so she understood and she told mr sharma the businessman about all these things he did not believe all these things he was still angry so as days going by and his condition worsening so then he thought what have i got to lose i'll just follow the yogi's advice so he started being nice as his wife brought his food he said to her the food is very wonderful you look very beautiful you're very smart you made wonderful food so like that he started appreciating the gardener ramu the servant and everybody so it, every day he increased a little bit more little bit more as he was doing that by the end of the 6 months his wife and everybody else all the workers noticed that he has tremendous changes in his body and tremendous changes in his appearance and seems like all the burn were healing and um, he was becoming more uh, strong and he was able to walk was able to talk more was able to do more and by the time it was end of 2 years he was totally back to normal to the way he was besides some uh, marks and bruises which he had from the burning but um, after the end of the 2 years he was totally a changed person and he did not criticize anyone no he was not evil or mean to anybody and he was appreciating everything including he was very grateful to god for burning the factory down for giving him all the injuries because that ch- changed him and made him a new man the man that he himself even loves and likes and he also said to his wife that thanks to all this happen and she sent the gardener ramu to the yogi uh he became a new person which he likes the most and he became very calm nice peaceful and very loving so 
after that he opened a huge um, organization in his uh, village where he uh, was helping the poor and needy so this place gave food and shelter to the needy and poor where he himself came every sunday to distribute blankets and clothes and necessary things uh, fruits vegetables food rice lentil to the um, uh, poor unfortunate and needy people and if people didn't have a place to stay that place had rooms for the poor and needy to stay and this change was so amazing that it spread like a disease in the village. Everybody became very nice, very appreciative. And most importantly, everyone became um, very um, thankful, gratitude giving. So this is the little story about the power of gratitude. So if we started... Um, being thankful for everything that we have or don't have or good things or bad things then the life will totally change so thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and i'll see you with many many more bye bye hi thank you so so much for being here today i hope you enjoyed the video Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you. May God bless you all.